Hi everyone, it's Akila. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. And as you know, our daughter Layla is pregnant and her and Adrian, as well as the baby, are definitely gonna need a lot more space. So today we're meeting up with them because they are finally house hunting and we're so excited for them. So the area that they're gonna be looking at is the Garden Grove community. And you might remember that area from the time that we fostered Reese. They have some really cute houses for rent. So I think they're gonna find the perfect one. And we're definitely gonna be late if August doesn't hurry it up. Don't worry, we'll get there. Now you know we need to help them make a good impression because they're really young and no one ever wants to run out to young people, which is kind of understandable to an extent. Akela, calm down. The only impression they need is the money. Hi guys, sorry we're a little late. Your dad needed to stop and get some gas. Dang, about time. I almost fell asleep waiting on y'all. Hey guys. Oh, that's no problem. Hello. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm Mrs. Collins. Um, I'm Layla's mother. And that's her dad in the back. Hello, Layla. Hello, Adrian. Hey, dad. Nice to meet you. Welcome to Garden Grove. My name is Avery. Nice to meet you once again. Sorry for holding you up, but we're definitely ready to take a look at the houses now. That's great. Layla, do your feet hurt? I can carry you. Oh, say less. Well, you all can follow me. I wanna kiss you before the sun goes down. I wanna kiss you before the sun goes down. Here's our first home. Ooh, orange. I feel like orange really isn't your style, but you know, it's not my house, it's yours. All of the houses in the community come with your standard icebox fridge, basic stove, basic dishwasher, kitchen light microwave, and stacked washer and dryer. Oh, okay, well that's really good to know. Okay, as they should. They have a fireplace? Sold. Adrian, I don't think you should just be sold on the fireplace. Let's look at the quality of the home. Okay, okay, true. Boy, this is the first house. This is a two bedroom, one bath with a loft. Oh, with a loft. Okay, we'll have to check that out soon. A kitchen. Of course there's a kitchen, and of course this is the first room you decide to go in. All right, it's not too big, but you guys don't really cook anyways. Hmm, not a lot of counter space. Oh, that's definitely true. You have like this one section over here next to the microwave. Maybe the rest of the house makes up for it. Let's see. We have this little front yard. Well, they all have a front yard. Oh my goodness, that's the house that Reese stays at. Who? Reese, the kid that we fostered, who ended up being Rosalina's son, which was really crazy, but you never got to meet him because you were hiding from us that you were pregnant. Oh my gosh, I would love to meet him. Well, if you end up getting one of these houses, I'm sure you'll run into him, but um, Okay, let's actually go into this room. But Rosa, yeah, um, and she hasn't really changed much. Let me get the door. Thank you. Layla, you can go in before me. What room would this be? The nursery? I don't know how I feel about having the nursery right next to the kitchen. Because what if there's a fire or something and y'all need to get to the baby quick? I don't know if I like the layout of this house. This is nice. Yeah, definitely not. Uh, let's see what other rooms this house has. This is spacious. You could say that. Yeah, true. Okay, this is the restroom. I don't know, it's it's a bit small, but 
I mean, that's what you get when y'all are on the budget. So I think it's the same as the kitchen. There's not a lot of counter space. Moving on, I can't do my after shower dancing in here. It doesn't look like they're really in love with this house. See, this is exactly why I said you shouldn't be sold on just one thing. You have to check out the entire place. These rooms are tiny. Well, didn't she say that there was a loft upstairs? I wonder how big that is. Way too small. OMG, let's go see. I'll be right behind you guys. Okay, yeah, the layout of this house is definitely a little weird. I mean, I guess worst case scenario, y'all could have like a little situation where, you know, you can have your bed in here and also the baby's crib what are you thinking leela yeah i'm not feeling this one okay no problem i think there's two other houses that we can see so come on i'll go ahead and tell avery can we see the next option oh that's okay of course follow me okay august let's let them go in first and let them have a look around before we throw in our input because I don't want my input to affect how they feel about the house. If they like it, they can definitely go for it. Here's our pink house. Watch your step, Layla. Oh, wow. I agree. A pink house. This is definitely a vibe. This is a two bed, two bath. Off the bat, I already love this entryway. Wow. Pink is nice. And is. Okay, so... Let's see the entryway. It looks like you have a closet over here. So you'll be good on storage. That's good. I don't know what you would really do with the rest of this space. Maybe you can put like your desk or something. Maybe the washer and dryer can be moved because I feel like that would definitely distract you guys when it comes to work. But you know, we'll figure it out if this is the house that you pick. Oh, I see a bigger bathroom. Definitely a lot more space, right? This is nice. Had me a bigger bathroom. And there's two, so I can't wait to see what the other one looks like. What do you think, August? Do you like this house so far? Yes, I do! Well, that's good. Everyone likes it so far, but we didn't see the rest of it, so let's go ahead and take a look. The washer would definitely have to go in the closet. That would actually be a really smart idea. You can add maybe like a counter top too, and you can have your little ironing board in there as well. I'm getting good vibes from this house. All right, let's check out the other side. Uh, looks like the lights are off. There we go, much better. Okay, so this is your living room. This is a nice kitchen. Nice and bright to see my beautiful Layla. Ah, be careful, you don't want a second baby on the way. I love how spacious this area is. I think the only problem you might have with this living room is that it faces the front. So when other people are going to their houses, you know, they'll be able to like kind of peek in, but nothing some curtains can't fix, you know? But having curtains will definitely affect the lighting. Very true, don't need anyone watching us. Yeah, that would really be creepy, but you know, it's something minor. And I think everyone that lives here is gonna be pretty nice. So let's see this kitchen August was talking about. Is there more counter space in here? Oh, yeah, there is. Now this is some counter space. And the appliances look good in here. I know they're a little on the cheaper side, but again, you get what you get with the price that you pay for. We can make it work. I agree, you definitely can. There's still a whole upstairs we have yet to check out, so let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so here's the stairway, and you guys have a really big hallway. Ooh, this is a pretty decent sized room with a closet too. Be careful on the steps, Layla. I could see this being the little nursery. I can too. I think this would be the perfect nursery. You guys could paint the walls and still more closet space. This is nice. Where would you put the crib? Maybe like right here in the corner? Me too! Imagine the little clouds on the ceiling! Mm-hmm, yep. All little clouds on the ceiling. You have to let me help decorate the nursery. Oh, for sure! Of course! Okay, well, I think there's still another room to see 
And we're missing the bathroom. She said this was a two bathroom house. So let's see what's behind this door. Another room? Oh, wow. Let's see. Oh, so this is the master bedroom. Now this is a master bedroom. Yes. And you guys have a really beautiful view of town. Like you could see it through the trees. Okay, and this must be the wowzers. Oh my gosh, I'm sold. Well, okay, we can definitely tell Avery, but I think you should still keep your mind open because we have one more house to see. Even a pink shower curtain, Layla. Aw, look, Adrian is willing to live in a pink house for you. If that's not love, I don't know what is. Okay, this is definitely really nice. And you have double sinks, so you guys can get ready at the same time. And then when your little one gets older, they can get ready downstairs. I feel like this one's gonna go quick if you don't act on it fast. My sink will become Layla's sink. I'm already knowing. Honestly, that sounds about right. Okay, let's go tell Avery. Layla, be careful. Okay, so we are absolutely obsessed with this unit. What she said. That's great. I heard a lot of positive feedback. Would you still like to see our last available house? Yeah, let's check it out. Mm -hmm. All right, follow me. But let's see the last one because the last one could be a lot better. This is our yellow house. Hmm, yellow. So we have another entryway similar to the last one. You guys have a closet, so that's good. Oh, another bathroom. Double sinks, okay. And the washer and dryer are already in here. So that would save you guys some time. You wouldn't have to move it or anything. This is nice. And you could still have your desk out there and not have to worry about it too much. Yeah, that'll definitely be convenient. Okay, I like this house so far. Let's check out the rest of the downstairs. There's this room over here, which could potentially be a nursery. Nice bathroom after Taco Bell. Ha <laughs> ha, August, that is disgusting. You better not come and blow these people's bathroom up. So far, so good. No windows? Right, I don't like that. Maybe there's more space upstairs. We'll have to check in a little bit, but... Um, where's the staircase anyway? Oh, it was over there. Um, so this is the kitchen. Another nice kitchen. I mean, it's nice, but I don't know where you guys would fit in a dining table. Definitely would be a little crammed in here. I'm already not liking the layout of this one. Yeah, the layouts are definitely a little questionable for this house and what was it? The orange house? And Layla needs room to walk. I guess it's still worth going to see the upstairs. Oh, those cabinets are nice. You guys can go see the upstairs and I'll follow you. What do we have? We have another hallway with a balcony. That's a little scary with the baby coming because once the baby starts walking, uh, they're gonna wanna run and climb and jump and you really have to keep an eye out. I know this isn't the master bedroom. It's looking like it is. Yikes. I mean, you know what? It's really not that bad, but I know you guys are definitely looking for a bit more space. This is smaller than the dorm you guys had to share. Yeah, it's not bad. I'm just not feeling it. And this view, mm-mm. I mean, the pink house is also facing this house, but at least the view of the front makes up for it. Y'all can't really see anything. Where's the master to the bedroom? I'm saying like, uh, if Layla doesn't like it, I don't like it. If you're just putting in an offer for the pink house only, uh, it's a little risky because if someone gets that house before you guys, uh, it's gonna be looking ugly and we're gonna be back at square one. So I would suggest putting in an offer for the pink one and also either this one or the orange one. So you guys can talk amongst yourselves. Maybe we should do this outside. Yeah, that seems like a good idea. So you guys can take a look at them both from the outside again. I just know that the housing market is really crazy and these houses come and go really fast. While we're here, comment down below and let us know which house you think they're gonna put an offer on. The orange one wasn't so bad. This exterior of this house is lacking windows. Very true. Yeah, I don't know what they thought they were doing, putting that loft up there and not expanding it because there's definitely a lot more space. 
This is calling my name. Yes, lovebirds, I know this is calling your name, but y'all need to figure it out. You still need a backup option. Of course, I'm a little biased because my favorite color is pink, but apart from the color, it really stood out to me for a number of reasons. Same, the room layouts are very good. Let's hope the rent doesn't stand out too. Oh, great, yeah, we didn't even talk about how much the rent is gonna be. So, um, yeah, Avery, excuse me, we had a question. How much are these houses going for? What's the numbers looking like? The orange one is 800 a month, the pink one is 1,200 a month, and the yellow is 750 a month. Of course the one we want is the most expensive. I guess you can blame me for that, cause I'm sure your dad can agree on this. I definitely like to spend a lot of money occasionally, mainly when it comes to houses. $1,200 is insane. Okay, well, here we go. So I'm not gonna get in between y'all's relationship so you guys can figure it out. Cause she did give you guys two other options. $1,200? That's our car payment! It's definitely outside of our budget, but considering we have a baby on the way, I feel like the pink house would be the most practical for us. Yeah, I agree. We have to think about the baby. The orange one can be our second choice. What do you think? Avery, do you know how many offers are on the pink house? Just so we have an alternative, Yes, there's two more offers on the pink house, but one family is not so certain with it. That means you guys have a chance. I honestly agree with Adrian. I think the orange house would be a good second choice just, just as a backup and then maybe do what I suggested. You might have to just, you know, share the room with the baby. It wouldn't hurt. I mean, your dad and I did that with you when we had you and we didn't have a lot of space. But then again, I think there was also another room downstairs and it also wasn't so close to the kitchen. So that could also be, you know, another option for the nursery. Yeah, I have no problem sharing a room with the baby. It's more intimate. If it comes to that, we can definitely make it work. I'll let y'all go ahead and tell Avery, cause this ain't my house and y'all ain't spending my money, so. All right, after talking it out, we'd like to put two offers in for both the pink and orange house. That's amazing. Here's the application for the pink house. And here's the application for the orange house. Thank you for showing us around. No problem, thank you. We love this community. I'll let you know if you are approved or not. Okay, please just look out for when I call. Definitely will. Okay, thank you, Avery. You all have a great day. You too. This is one expensive place. Okay, everyone, well, that is going to be it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed watching and comment down below and let us know which house you think Layla and Adrian are going to get approved for. And do not forget to leave a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. Once you are subscribed, click the bell button so you get notified whenever I post a video. And with that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.